Hi JDE professionals, welcome back. Today we'll show you how to call an orchestration from within the event rules of your custom code. You can call it from a named event rule, an application event rule, a report or UBE event rule, a business function, or a table trigger event rule. Any orchestration that you've created in Orchestrator Studio, you can integrate with your custom code using B98ORCH. This new section in our Orchestrator Studio guide will help you to understand and implement B98ORCH call orchestration and notification feature. This business function behaves differently depending on where you call it from. I'll explain from this section. Then we'll cover the input output parameters. Then how to configure Enterprise Server and the FAT Client. And then how to test B98ORCH using Object Browser. This section helps us understand what the feature is about and how it works. So you call your orchestration a notification from your events using B98 or CH. Again, you can call it from a named event rule, an application event rule, report or UBE event rule, a business function or table trigger event rule. The main concept here is that these are the areas where you can write the code to call the business function B98 or CH. I hope this diagram and explanation simplifies the architecture and how it works. If called directly from an event rule in an interactive application, B98 or CH is executed on the HTML server, where it calls the orchestration or notification on the AIS server associated with the HTML server. If called from a business function, a server-side named event rule or a report, B98 or CH is executed on the enterprise server, where it calls the orchestration or notification on the AIS server associated with the enterprise server. So the place where B98ORCH is called from is an important consideration in your design, but this is how the system works. The next section is input parameters. The two important fields here are orchestration name and the second one is the object type, orchestration or notification. Also important is the input string where we'll be passing the JSON information. And finally, we have the output parameter. Next, we go to the configuration of the enterprise server and FAT client to use the B98 or CH feature. If you follow the steps in the guide, it will explain in detail how to do this. Once it's all configured, then it's time to test it. So we're going to run this business function using the object browser I mentioned earlier. It's a third party tool where you can run any business function. So let's open the object browser, type in the object name B98 ORCH, select it, right click it, and click test function. Enter the required parameters, which are the orchestration name, the type ORCH, the JSON input string, which is address book number one, and then execute the business function. The object browser connects to the AIS server and runs the orchestration and returns zero. Zero means it ran successfully, so now we should have some output. Let's look at the output parm of the business function, and here we see it return the name of the company one, which is what we were looking for. This orchestration was not executed from the scheduler or orchestrator studio. It was executed from the business function. Now you know it is working and can be used in your development, and now you know how to call an orchestration using this method. This is one small section from your Enterprise One Orchestrator Studio Complete Reference Guide, a must-have guide for smart developers, business analysts, and CNCs who want to provide premium service to their customers by automating as much as possible. This guide will be growing over time as we add more automation scenarios. This is a companion guide for the Enterprise One Automation Complete Reference Guide. If you have something you'd like us to automate for you, drop us a line at this email address this guide sells for $499 USD and will pay for itself with just one automation. It's packed with ideas, concepts, and time-saving features. It includes three free service calls of up to one hour each with a technician who wrote it. You can't lose, and there's no reason why you should. Buy the guide. That's all for now. Bye-bye.